Hello folks, uh, I'm going to show you how to install Windows 7 on the HP Prodex 600 G1 business PC. This little tiny computer, as you can see, it's like the size of uh, DVD drive uh, for a desktop DVD drive exactly the size of a desktop DVD drive or a little bit I think so a little bit bigger than the size of a DVD drive but it's a whole computer it has everything it has a hard drive has a memory and uh, has a USB ports network ports VGA outputs, you have three three uh, display outputs, that's uh, two DP and one VGA, meaning you can connect it to multiple net, uh, monitors. Okay, so let me show you how to open it up in case you want to upgrade the memory or change the hard drive. This is all you have to do. You unscrew this screw and then you push it like that and here you are inside you can see the SSD drive as a Sandix brand of SSD 256 gig and the memory is right behind here to access the memory you need to remove you need to remove this and remove that and then when you raise the hard drive by pulling this latch over here bring this in forward move the hard drive you have access to the memory now let me close it and then uh, go ahead with the installation if you like this video click on like click to like it share it and uh, subscribe to my channel now I'm, I'm going to show you how to do the installation this pen drive i have here has the windows 7 software on it so i'm going to use windows 7 for the installation so i'm going to put it behind the pc usb port and uh, i'm going to start the installation right away power button on Well, as you can see, this computer already have some uh, operating system on it already, and it's a Windows 7 Enterprise. So I'm going to delete the partition of this hard drive using the pen drive and reinstall Windows Professional, Windows 7 Professional. Now, um, what, I'm, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go to the going to go to the advanced option. Is it advanced? I'm um, right inside the the CMOS setup, the BIOS. I want to see the boot priority. So I'm going to put the boot priority to refresh to the USB 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 right there followed by the hard drive in that order
USD. the other all right so i'm going to press f10 f10 right on the keyboard to save the changes and then i'm going to reboot the computer by pressing Control alt delete uh, we are waiting for All right, so let's go. I have initiated installation of the Windows 7. Because this computer is using SSD drive, the whole process of installation will be fast. Okay, so here we are. Windows 7 installation is ready. Getting started. Okay, so I'm going to select the 64 bit professional. Click next, accept the agreement. Click next, go to advance, and I'm going to delete, delete all the partitions. Delete all the partitions and click on next. If you like my video, um, kindly click on uh, the share button and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can be notified anytime I put any video and also I want to appreciate your time for watching my YouTube videos. So over here you can see we have we have the HP products C Sandwich Gen 2 also here. It's just slightly different from the G1. Installation is still going on. You can see the difference between the let me put the G2 and the G1 so you can see the difference 
the difference between the gene 1 and the gene 2. This is the gene 1. And this is how the gene 2, the front view of the gene 2 looks like. show you the back let me open so you can see the inside of the gene too Over here, you can see the, the SSD drive. Here is 128, and the memory is under the processor fan. Is it a processor fan? No, sorry. Yeah, the memory is under the fan. So that's how to locate the memory in the Gene 2. Closing this. Our installation is sixty-four uh, percent. Windows Seven Professional still installing from the pen drive. In case you need any of these to buy, if you are in Ghana, you can uh, get these things to buy from Danny Computers. They are not brand new, they are fairly used from the UK. And uh, we do stock this mini HP mini desk, Pro Desk Computers. We have the other types, other types of HP. We have the other types of mini desktops. Such as this one here. This is the HP Desk Pro, also HP Desk Pro, but you can see this one is a little bit bigger. Let me turn it over for you to see. This one is the. This one is HP Desk Pro 400. Eh, sorry, this one HP Desk Pro Dex 400, Gen 4, small form factor business PC. You can see it's a little bit bigger than this. Uh, let me show you how it looks like. Yeah, you can see it. You can have all this. Home use desk pro computers from Danny Computers. In Ghana, Accra. Right.
okay so at this point the solution is uh, the PC is about to boot and we need to remove the pen drive at this point so computer is rebooting for Windows installation to continue. <laughs> 